really sad and very fucking embarrassing to the community around here. She admitted right there at the time when she put a restraining order on me, her and Skylar would not leave me alone. She admitted of stalking me. She was wanting things to quit. Then she should have followed the no restraining order. But she didn't. She broke it. By constantly admitting she's stalking me. And it does not matter if I have it private or public. It does not matter. You admitted of stalking me. You said it right there. I'll still find ways on fake accounts to follow you. And that would be considered stalking, my dear. You told on yourself right there. You perjured to the court system. You manipulated the court system that year. You have no fear of me. You were not fearful of your life. You lied to the court system as I explained about your three different personalities out here. And then there's another profile, another social media. You kept it up. It was on my YouTube. It was on my Instagram. And then it was my Facebook. That's three different social medias I can prove and back up that you were stalking me on. That you wouldn't quit out here. And then we got this lovely bitch. Michelle Jones. She better quit sticking up for certain people out here. Because she's going to go down with them all. With the 30 years of proof that I got, I know what I'm talking about. And I think it's kind of weird that you stick up for drug addicts, people who pops pills, who threatens to rape people. There's something wrong with you and you got kids of your own. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's why I said this community is a fucking embarrassment. Now these days, people in the society, in the community are fucking embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassment. And there's all the community mobbing right here. People trying to give out my phone number, my address, which would be an attempt to do RICO, an organization to gang stalk a person that can also be social murder. There's a smear campaign, community mobbing, right here, in a flush. Smear campaign, that's how it usually goes. You better quit sticking up for certain people out here, because they're going to take you down right with them all. All the people that I've talked about, associations, what people have done to me for straight 30 years... They're going to take you down right with them. They're both going to get you fucked up out here. Because you encouraged what she was doing. You encouraged her to keep gang stalking me. To keep stalking me knowing she had a restraining order on me. You encouraged her to keep up this dumb shit. You're a fucking embarrassment as a fucking human being. And you're an embarrassment as a fucking mother. I don't hide behind the screen, but it looks like you people hide behind screens or wants to attack people for speaking their minds. And this, Michelle Jones, I know what I'm talking about. Do your fucking research before you open your cocksucker up. You ain't gonna like it that these numbskulls, that these idiots are gonna take you down with them. You ain't going to like it. That you're an accomplice to them and others and plenty more to come. You're not going to like it. You're not going to like the outcome of how many people 
that you've helped that you should have not helped out here in this community. I've been trying to get things to quit and you want to sit there and say, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, I do know what I'm talking about. And I've talked about plenty of things what you encourage out here in the community and it's fucking embarrassing. You're a fucking mother. Act like one. Quit being a fucking rapist. Quit trying to be a fucking killer. Stop encouraging people that it's okay to want to kill someone, to murder someone, or to rape someone. Be a fucking mother. Quit being a bitch like everybody else. That's why I have to use gets in trouble in the community. I can prove it back up that it's a constant thing. People trying to attempt murder me. People hiring people hit mans and hit womans after me. You dumb bitch. Do your fucking research before you open your mouth ever about me. You can go down with all these people since you were an accomplice, a flying monkey, abused by proxy with them morons, with plus of others that I named down. You can go down too. Now I wouldn't feel bad. If you went down with these people, it's pitiful. It's sad. And this is a real thing. You better do your research of what I'm saying and what I'm talking about. Because I'm not playing with any of you out here anymore. You people trying to community mob me, trying to community or society murder me, you guys are going to quit encouraging these idiots these fucking morons out here you guys are the problem in the society in the fucking community this is why people get murdered off this is why people get hurt killed harmed hurt because of people like you in this damn community what the fuck happened to this community they would stop this crap very quickly but they don't do it anymore they don't stand up for what's right anymore and it's bad enough that you stood up for a girl who perjured lied manipulated the court system out here too there's a lot of people involved that you encouraged and others encouraged too and others did not i know who encouraged these screwed up people out here. There's cases that can be against all you fucks out here. You all of you can go down. For not knowing, the names are adding up more and more and more by the day. There's a whole bunch of names I've talked about. A lot of incidents. And people knew about it. People are shocked that I'm starting to stand my ground. I'm starting to speak up. Whether you guys like it or not. It's an embarrassing. It's an embarrassment. To the community. And the society. That you encourage. Screwed up. You encourage drug addicts. You encourage people. Who. Gets hurt. I'm not hiding behind the screen. But it seems like. You people like to attack where you shouldn't. You people are talking shit. I don't like drug addicts. I don't like people on drugs, for one. And I don't like people encouraging and I don't like people threatening to take my life. I'm not going to lay down and let you kill me. You people are going to wake up and recognize and understand who I am. You're going to know what I stand for. And you ain't going to like it at the end of the day. I got a whole bunch of names down. That you're not going to like. I already know some of the hit mans. I already know some of the hit womans. Of who they were. Where they come from. And who's doing it. And you stupidly. Got in the middle of it. I'm going to put you there. Now. Since I know you encouraged some screwed up behaviors out here. Others heard me out.
but they did not get involved. You were dumb enough to encourage these people's actions. You were dumb enough to encourage half of the crap. And then you want to argue with me about people pulling a knife out on me at the time. You want to sit there and blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. You also knew about that too. You knew people try to attempt murder me, so you're an accomplice right there. Your name should be put down too. And I don't care. She admitted of nonstop stalking me when she was wanting shit to quit. Seemed like she didn't. She admitted of stalking me on everything I was on. And you stupidly encouraged it. You stupidly went along with it. Now you look like the damn fool. By going along with it. I do know what I'm talking about. And I'm glad I can back up some of this crap. To make you people look stupid as fuck. In this community. I do. Sometimes I embarrass the fuck out of this community. And society. Because they don't help the correct people anymore. They let people get away with crap. They let people encourage this crap. Till I come in. I start saying stuff. The community. And the society is embarrassed. They should feel embarrassed. This shit is embarrassing. The community and the society. Is the problem. You people are the problem. The accomplices are the problem. You encourage half these people's behaviors. You encouraged half of it. And you know it. I'm not gonna comply and let you people kill me off this earth. I'm not gonna let you attack me. I'm not gonna let you do whatever the hell you want to me. Because you don't get your fucking way. I hate to tell you this. 30 years of proof I can back up and somewhat have evidence. And I can prove and back up what I'm talking about. It's going to make you look stupid as fuck. And I don't care. This is getting ridiculous. That you encourage. It looks like to me. That drug addicts. Sure like to be tough behind the screen. But at the exact same time. I'm not going to be dumb enough. To deal with drug addicts. I'm not going to deal with predators. And I'm not going to deal with people who's trying to attempt murder me. And who's trying to give out my address. And trying to give out my number. You fucking sex offenders. You fucking rapists. You fucking predators. You fucking... Mm. That's what I'm saying though. You guys act like fucking sex traffickers. Because that's what you are. That's what you act like. You act like fucking predators. And you got... And you ha have to use... Our mothers and fathers out here. Fucking shameful. You're a mother and a father. And you're acting like a pedophile. Shame on you motherfuckers out here. For acting like that. Your kids don't need to be taught that shit. Shame on you people. You're mad because I'm standing my ground. You're pissed off because I can back up to somewhat degree that you did not like. You thought was not there. You're mad because I could prove and back things up that you thought I didn't have when I do and I do have. I don't care if it makes any of you mad. I'm tired of you people in the community and the society is a fucking problem. This is how people get murdered, killed, attempted on, and unalived. I'm done dealing with you dumb fucks out here. You're gonna learn and you're gonna wake the fuck up. And stop your dumb shit. You're hurting families out here. You're messing with families. You're not just messing with one person. You're messing with a whole bunch of people's lives out here. And that's what you guys do. It's like a group effort. That's organization. I proved it. I showed it. That's RICO. That's recatering. That's organization. That's group activities. I'm nothing like you. I'm going to keep speaking up for myself. 
because I care about myself. I care about my safety and I'm not going to be a robot to society that you guys think I should lay down and you guys do whatever the hell you want. You want to beat me down? You want to rape me? You want to kill me? You want to attempt murder me? You think it's okay for all this abuse that you played on my life? You're trying to unalive me with all these different people? No, fuck you. I ain't going to lay down. I'm going to fight you back. I'm definitely going to retaliate against all you motherfuckers. Until you get it through your fucking heads and through your fucking skulls, this shit's going to quit in this fucking town. You're going to quit. I'm going to make it known. You're acting like fucking pedophiles. And half of you are fathers and mothers acting like this? That's shameful. That's fucking pitiful. You're acting like fucking predators and then you have your kids... To be predators just like you, there's something wrong in this fucking community. There's something wrong with this society. There is something wrong in this town. There is something physically wrong here. This is how we end up dead and gone because of people like you. And you're dumb for thinking it's okay for people to give out their addresses. And that's pretty much attempting to harm someone. You're planning to kill someone. You're planning to attack someone, you dumb fucks. When are you ever going to learn? This is proof and backing up of what I've been saying for straight 30 years against this stuff. You're going to wake up and you're going to fucking learn today when to fucking quit. In this town. Because I don't. <laughs> honestly. That makes half of this society. Half half the society. Is probably feeling fucking embarrassed. Where they don't want to live here anymore. Because of how people are acting. It's a fucking embarrassment. And it's fucking shameful. Of how you people. Think what you're doing. Is not a crime. You think what you're doing is okay but truthfully it's not you need you need to seriously do your research because if you don't these people are going to take you down with them i've already shown enough proof and evidence but you got to understand i'm only human i can only handle so much of what i've seen what i've witnessed what i've heard seen witness with my own eyes that you don't every day and you people are so dumb to this like you're fucking blind you're dead on the inside apparently you have no emotion towards nobody else apparently you're just like a murderer and you're a fucking predator it is your problem and your kids are turning out to be like them too this is really sad in the community. Even with that one post I shared about the F, some about somebody got a hold of the FBI and about their kids being predators. There's something wrong here in this town. Something has really badly gone wrong where people are becoming like Gotham, like Gotham City. Or Sin City here. I do not comply. To your screwed up behavior. I do not comply that you're going to abuse me. I'm not going to comply. You're going to be. Flying monkeys. Or abused by proxy. I don't. Allow this crap in my life. And it's a repeating pattern. And I have enough proven evidence. To back this up. And others can understand where I'm getting at and what I'm understanding. And these people get mad and wants to say, well, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, apparently, you're just saying that because you know, you know, I know what I'm talking about. It makes you mad. It pisses you off. That you, society, are robots. You people allow nasty, cruel things to happen to people. Like, you expect people to lay down and accept people to murder them, to kill them, to do anything. Oh, but once, once it, once the drama heads your way, you're different. 
you want to stand your ground, right? So why, so why do you take that away from me? Why do you take my freedom away from me? Why are you trying to take away my rights to stand my ground? What I'm not going to tolerate and I can get something done about it. I can get this to stop. I've proven this so many times of repeating patterns of what people are not stopping out here. This is what I'm talking about. You people are going to learn. You will and you are going to learn that my life is my life. You're not going to play with it. You're not going to kill me. You're not going to murder me. And your crap is not welcomed. None of everything you do, none of it was never welcomed. But I do appreciate the proof that you're giving me and the evidence I need to prove about this town that's screwed up, that needs to be investigated about certain people and their behaviors. Thank you for giving me that proof because it shows. And plus, I'm dealing with narcissistic abusers. I'm dealing with narcissistic bastards out here. Who thinks everything is so normal. They think everything. They know everything. No they don't. Narcissistic people only cares about killing you. Harming you. And not caring about you. They care about what they want. And what they allow. Narcissistic abusers. I do not get along with you people. I do not get along with people who's been trying to attempt murder me. I do not get along with people who's put hits out on me. I do not get along with anybody who's threatened anything on me. Threatening to, threaten to take my life or to threaten to kill me or to kidnap me or do anything of the sort to my life. You're going to get the side of me you ain't going to like. Everybody has a right to defend their selves. Why are you trying to take that away from me? There's something wrong with you people. In this damn community. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong where it needs to be investigated. Harshly. Like the behaviors of behind certain things. Needs to be investigated. In this town. It needs to be fucking investigated. Because there ain't, there's a lot of people down here who are scared to stand up for themselves. They're afraid to stand up for themselves because they don't want to get hurt. They don't want to be harmed. Most of us are not scared of getting hurt or harmed. We've lived through it. We're not scared to speak up. But there are some people who are petrified to speak up because they're afraid of the government. They're afraid of the FBI. They're afraid of the sheriff. They're afraid of the police. They're afraid of authority figures. But authority figures got to understand there's a point in time where you got to step in to get something to stop. For someone's peace of mind. And when you don't, that's a problem. That's a problem in the community and the society itself. Something ain't right. And everybody knows it. Something ain't right with you. And they're scared. If any, if any police officer or any other police department shows up in this town, they get scared and they get fearful. Well, maybe it's time for certain different police officers and different police stations to get down here. To investigate what the crap is going on. Of why is there so much people getting away with crap who don't deserve it. Maybe it's time for that. You gotta understand. When you're just one person standing alone. These people gotta group up. Because they're weak. They're cowardly. They don't know how to fight on their own. They've always got to get in groups for people that they don't even know nothing about. And then they look stupid. And then you humiliate them. And that's how it usually goes. This is really sad and pitiful of everything 
that people have actually given me the evidence I need to show people what I'm talking about around this damn fucking town. Something ain't right here. There is something completely wrong here. And people are afraid. Some of us are not afraid to speak up. Because most of us are tired of it. Most of us have dealt with so much stuff that we're not afraid to speak our minds. We're not afraid to fight for our lives. We're not afraid to pretty much say, um, hello, how would you like it if people started doing that to you? You know, it's kind of like that scenario. It's like, oh, heaven forbid it ever happens to these people. And it's like, well, then what's the difference with me? Is literally what I'm trying to understand here. It's like everybody else has the right to stand up for themselves and I don't. Something ain't right here. Something is not right with these people's heads. In this community, in the society, something ain't right here at all. This town has given me a lot of evidence to show and prove what I'm talking about. There is something wrong in this town severely badly. And that can be proven and backed up too. <clears throat> what they keep allowing and continuing to go on. I promise you, if there was like another police station that came down to this this town, I bet you it would probably somewhat stop to a somewhat degree. The correct people would actually get the correct help that they need. I don't understand what happened. This town used to stand up for the right. This town used to be good people, and it's not. It's evil people who thinks they know it all, but they don't. They don't like somebody who has evidence and proof that can back up of how screwed up this town is, how the people are. They don't like that. And that's why half of these people get embarrassed. Because they thought they knew it all. But when they hear something that they didn't know. Then they feel humiliated. They feel embarrassed. Which they should. That's why you stay out of people's businesses. I've shown so much over the years. Of evidence and proof. Something ain't right. And it's shown. Especially narcissistic abusers are the worst people to deal with on this earth. I've already explained about their three different personalities. What they can do. What they're capable of. Why they lie. Why they perjury. Why they do everything of the sort. That's why they do triangulation. And that's pretty much triangulation right there. What I just showed in <laughs> one of those. These people better start doing their research. And you better stop helping the wrong people out here. Before they take you down with them. Because you're an accomplice to this. I've seen so many people standing up for the wrong people. And, you know, I even got it on my YouTube where I was showing how much people likes to gang up on me. That's also accomplices to organization and RICO acts and community mobbing me. There's a lot of people who likes to gang up on me when I'm just only one person. Explain that to me. Why isn't it I'm only one person Standing alone. And these people got to get a whole bunch of group of people. Explain that to me. Oh. It's because they feel weak by themselves. Well you know what. You're cheerfully weak. When you got to have a whole bunch of people in a group. To come after one person. That does not make you strong out here. That shows how powerless. And very weak minded you are. By doing community mobbing. Someone. Constantly not knowing the facts. 
until I speak up, then I kind of humiliate and I embarrass the fuck out of people. Well, gee, I wonder why. It's because some of these people thought they were a know-it-all, and then they get kind of notched down a little bit to a reality check. That, no, they don't know what's going on. Because all they care about is getting revenge. They care about material gain. Or they care about killing someone or hurting someone. Or doing something criminally to towards someone. Not realizing they're saying what they're doing is not criminal. I've shown evidence of how many times I've stood as one person alone. And everybody's got to gang up on me. That says a lot. And that's pitiful and shameful that you think you got to have a whole bunch of people. You're sticking up for the wrong individuals out here that you don't know nothing about. What they got a part in that would be accomplices, the flying monkeys, the abuse by proxy. Trying to drive someone up the wall. Not realizing what they're doing is going to come back on them. It's resurfacing back upon these people who would not quit messing with me. And wouldn't quit screwing with me. It's coming back on these people. It's resurfacing. The problem is them. The whole entire time. It's the community and the society. And proof does not lie. Evidence does not lie. What they are accomplices to <clears throat> and what they help out with, which they did not know about. All the different ones. Straight 30 years. They don't know how many people. They don't know what they're helping with. And half of these people... <laughs> are helping sex traffickers to come after me too. And kidnappers, which would be, I was kidnapped when I was a little girl. And then not that long ago, I think it was like, what, about a year ago, two years ago, another biker group threatened to kidnap my ass. So you tell me. Why I'm not lighting up on you people. And why I'm talking so much. I'm not, I'm not okaying this. This is like not consensual. I'm not allowing you to do this to my life. You are breaking my human rights. You're breaking my God's rights. You're breaking my rights in general. You know what I mean? You're breaking rights here. You're bringing stuff to me that is not welcomed every fucking time. You people are going to learn and going to recognize and wake up. You're going to quit. You're dumb shit. If I have to keep speaking up, I'll do it. I don't care. I'm going to get it through people's heads. I'm not going to let you kill me, murder me, rape me, or put a needle in me. Trying to kill me with drugs. Trying to overdose me too. I'm not going to allow you. To keep doing this to me. This is not normal. For the community. To act up like this. It's not normal behavior. And then when I do start speaking upon. What I know about. Then people likes to try to call me stupid. Which you really don't have the right. To call me stupid. You really don't. Because you're just only embarrassing yourself. These people have gotten you as an accomplice. Which makes you look dumb as fuck. By even ever getting in the middle of it. And then plus these people get you in the middle of it. Then you don't know what you had a, what you got involved from since I was one years old until I'm 30. That's a very long time of patterns that you don't know about that's happened towards me that people got you in the middle of it so i'm saying though you people better start doing your facts and research before you start running your mouth 
Because I'm not physically coming at you people. I'm not physically sending people after you. But I can prove and back up and show evidence that you physically sent people to me. To hurt, harm me, try to attempt murder me, try to kill me. As hit mans and hit womans. So what you going to do about that? Are you going to call me a liar then? Because I hope, I hope you do call me a liar. Because I know there's going to be people going to tell you to your face. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I dare you to call me a liar on that. I dare you. Because pretty much you're showing your asses off. That since I've been one years old to 30 years old. You guys have gone in the middle of everything that's happened towards me in my life. Until one now I've hit 30. That's a very long time. That is a lifetime that you people have fucking played on my life. And you stupidly got in the middle of it. I can easily get all you stuck down. I can prove and back up all the people who sent hit men's hit women's. Who sent people to physically attack me. You guys approach me all the time you guys like to attack me and then you guys want to flip out and want to get restraining orders on me and put restraining orders on me just because i'm speaking my mind because you're making me want to fight you back you're forcing me to say something to you you're forcing me to stand my ground towards you dumb fucks out here that's wrong of you to do to me you want to poke 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 and then once i've had enough and i start speaking up i start sticking up for myself i start showing proof i start showing evidence and then you guys want to cry boo-hoo and cry like little bitches and then you want to bitch at each other because you're all gonna go down you guys better quit poke poke it poke it poke it poke it, and thinking it's funny and hilarious when you know it's not you poke at people so much that when people has enough of you, you want to flip out. You want to pull this harassment card. You want to pull this, I'm going to put a restraining order on you. You want to threaten weird shit knowing you know what you did to me. What you have done towards me, you guys want to act like you're the victim and you're not. And you know you're not and I can prove it back it up that you're not the victim out here you're gonna learn you're gonna wake up you're gonna learn and you're gonna know you're gonna learn and you're gonna wake up and you're gonna recognize to quit it out here i'm always gonna stand my ground whether you like it or not you people don't like what the fuck i have to say block me and don't even acknowledge me because i'm gonna know each person like i said i've already got names down of how many people, how many years, different people and associations that's added up to this 30 years of proof that you don't know nothing about. So how about you quit running your mouth and you better start asking questions because they got you right in the middle of it and then they could take you down right with these accomplices. You're going to go down with all these people and that's exactly what they're doing to you. You are dumb enough to be a flying monkey to where they're going to take you down with them. They're going to ruin your life by you messing with me because you don't know all the years of what I've been proving and backing up of what they've been doing towards me. You're dumb out here for not acknowledging or understanding what you've done too. That's not fair to me. That you're making me feel like I have to fight for my life. I have to stand up for myself. Or you're going to put me in survival mode. What the hell do you expect you're going to get out of a person. When you constantly poke, 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 poke. Attack, 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 attack a person. What do you think is going to happen to you guys out here? What do you think eventually a person's going to do? You're making a person very 
leery and you're going to make a person where they're going to flip out on you and you ain't going to expect it and know when it's going to happen. You better quit poking at people. You better quit attacking people. Because that's all you're doing. You're pushing things out of people and then you want to sit back and go, oh, why are you doing that? Why are you acting like that? You're crazy. You need help. No, it's a fact of is that you're pushing your limits out here with me. You're pushing. You poke, poke, poke. And you want to hurt, hurt, hurt. You want to harm, harm, harm. You want to attempt, attempt, attempt murder. Constantly sending, 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 sending people to hurt, harm, kill, rape, murder, attempt, commit. What do you expect is going to happen? Y'all better wake the fuck up and you better all get your heads checked. You better start acting right. This is bullshit. Grow the fuck up. You better start doing your research. Because there's a lot of accomplices. That if I'm, if I got enough evidence and proof for straight 30 years. You can actually go down. I can actually take a whole bunch of people down and some police officers too if I wanted to. You better think about that. You better think upon your actions. Because sometimes when I needed the true help out here, I got ignored. Always got told to ignore these people. I could never press charges upon nobody. Well, that probably needs to change. Because this is bullshit. That I can prove and back up of patterns of what you guys constantly do to me. And you guys want to bitch and complain. And then you want to cry and boo-hoo to your friends. And then you want to cry and boo-hoo when your friends go, nope, you stay away from me. That's what you probably need. You probably need people to not have your back. To let you deal with... With your consequences and your actions of what you do to someone. You're scared to be alone. You have fear of being alone. And you're not liking it. That you're also being known. Your mask is being ripped off. Whether you like it or not. You need to quit playing on people's lives out here. Because you like to threaten things. You like to threaten to hit. You like to threaten to come after people. Which I've already got that on video too. I've proven that. That woman beaters wants to act up. And then people like to stalk my home. Which is another dumb shit of a pattern that I've noticed. You people have gang stalked me enough. You people have done enough RICO acts on me. You people have done enough organization crimes on me. It's time for you to quit and grow the fuck up. And quit. And you think everything I talk about is a joke. When it's not a joke. It's a legitimate charges out here. It's a legitimate thing. That this stuff is proven. It backed up. That you don't know nothing about. You didn't know that. Now you're going to feel like a dumbass. You're going to feel like a jackass. For ever being a part in this. For straight 30 years. Of accomplices of helping people. You're helping out murderers. You're helping out hitmans and hitwomen. You're helping out organization. You're helping out recatering. And you're helping out sex, sex offenders. You're helping out sex traffickers come after me. When are you going to wake up and stop? I'm also going to repeat that too. If I constantly have to keep repeating this. That you people and accomplices are helping sex traffickers to come after me. and <laughs> See that's the thing though. No, you didn't know anything about that. Until I started speaking up about it. That's why I'm talking about the accomplices. You're idiots. You're fools. <sighs> fools? Don't look well out here. Y'all look like fucking clowns. 
and the circus fits you all perfectly. At the end of the day. But I'm going to go and get off of here. But just like I said. I got enough evidence and proof to show what I'm talking about. Of these behaviors in this town needs to be investigated. Certain people's behaviors do need to be investigated. Certain acts of not being properly helped out. Probably needs to be investigated. And that's a legitimate thing to say. But just like I said. You people wanted your name into the light. You people constantly thought this was funny. You thought you, thought you were going to keep getting away with it. You thought you were never going to get caught. You thought nobody knew what you were doing or up to. And then now you're upset because somebody's sitting here and explaining all about your different personalities. There's proof and evidence to back it up. And then I'm dealing with shitty ass people. I'm dealing with murderers. I'm dealing with killers. I'm dealing with rapists. I'm dealing with predators. And I'm also dealing with people... Who were helping sex traffickers to come after me? What idiots. But just like I said, I'm going to go and get off of here. Hope you guys have a lovely day.